Hello everyone and to all who come to this happy place, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Abby and I make a bunch of Disney content here on my channel, whether it be planning for Disney or Disney news and history, I do it all. So if you like that kind of thing, make sure to hit the red subscribe button at the bottom. Today is super exciting because we are leaving for Walt Disney World tomorrow morning and I am packing. So I thought that I would show you guys what I'm bringing for a wintertime trip to Walt Disney World. Wintertime is super different compared to what you would pack for summer and it can be a little overwhelming because at night it's going to be in the 40s and during the day it's going to be close to 70. So it's kind of wacky, you need literally every kind of clothing. <laughs> so um, I did try to pack as minimally as possible but it's kind of hard when you have to plan for all that weather. So I'm going to show you what I'm packing and hopefully it'll help you when you are packing for a winter trip to Walt Disney World. I would say this is appropriate for anything between December and February, early March. After early March it does start to warm up more consistently and nighttime might not be as cold. So without further ado, let's take a look at what I'm packing. So I'm bringing one suitcase, so I'm bringing, I think it's a 28 inch American Tourister suitcase. I will link it in the description down below. And I'm bringing a carry-on. Um, I just made this last night. So I bought the bag and then I added all the little Mickeys because I wanted to Disney it. So I'll show you what's in there as well. But that's my park backpack and my carry-on for the plane. So this is an overview of what's actually in the bag currently. I'm going to take the stuff out and show you. And then this stuff all still needs to go in there. And then there's a couple more items that I still need to pull together. When I'm packing for a trip, I like to use this top compartment as kind of accessories and random things that aren't super big just so that I can keep that stuff separate so I know where it is. So I'm going to show you what's in that pocket first. One of the most important things to pack for your Walt Disney World vacation is magic bands. Now when you book a Disney Resort package, they will send you free magic bands. You get to choose your color and add your name and that's so that you can use them as your room key, your Magical Express, admission, etc. So the ones you can choose for free are basic colors. They have red, blue, green, orange, gray, pink, purple, and yellow. However, when you go to Disney World as much as I do, you tend to accumulate some other magic bands. So, I am bringing four. I'm not bringing any of the solid colored ones because I just don't wear those as much as my cute ones. So, for our Epcot day, I am going to be wearing my Spaceship Earth magic band. I bought this one. They have it at Gateway Gifts, which is just outside of Spaceship Earth. And then for Magic Kingdom, I am bringing my 45th anniversary special edition magic band. It's the it's a small world one. This one does cool things when you're in Magic Kingdom. So when you scan into the park, the instead of turning green, the little uh, Mickey turns other colors, or sometimes it'll sing stuff like that. So totally unnecessary, but totally fun. And the other magic bands that I'm bringing that I'm not wearing, I'll show you the one that I'm wearing later when I get to where it is. But I'm bringing my Beauty and the Beast limited edition. This one sings the intro to Belle, which is the first song in Beauty and the Beast. And also changes colors. So, I love this one. I did toy with not bringing this one because I've kind of worn it out a little bit. And the holes aren't as tight as they used to be. But I'll be careful. The next thing that I packed is my buttons that I'm going to be wearing. Now, I'm not going to get a chance to wear all of these, but I'm going to bring them anyway just in case. So these are from Park Bound Buttons. These are not free in the Disney parks. They do have free birthday buttons, I'm celebrating, and happily ever after buttons. These are not those. So I did buy these. They're super reasonable. They're only four dollars and they are frequently on sale. So if you keep watching out for her Facebook page or her email list then you can get some really good deals on these. And they're just fun to have and I'll reuse them again and again. So the first one is I only love my bed and Disney I'm sorry and there's Ariel so accurate the next one I am bringing specifically for Epcot and that is tasting my way around the world with Belle in the be our guest scene so thought that would be cute the next one that I am bringing I absolutely love this is one of my newer ones 
follow me to the castle and it's that millennial pink that I'm ashamed that I do really like that pink but I'm sorry I do it's a good pink and the next one I'm super excited about this is also one of my more recent purchases and it is a haunted mansion foolish mortal button so I'm gonna wear this on one of the magic kingdom days and the next one everyone who is planning a Disney vacation I'm sure can relate to Help me, I'm poor, and there's Cinderella after sh her stepsisters have torn her dress to shreds. So, super excited to, you know, mix and match these, use whichever ones are striking me that day. I do have one more for Hollywood Studios, but that is in my carry-on, so I'll show you that later, because we're going right there from when we get off the Magical Express. I like to keep all of the buttons, and then I also do this with my pins, but I like to keep them in heavy-duty bags just so that nothing happens to them and they don't get lost and loose. That's especially true of pins because the pins, the pin backs fall off. So I reuse the same bags again and again so it's not really wasteful and then they just help me stay organized. The next thing that I'm packing is an extension cord. My mom taught me to do this. You always should bring an extension cord with you when you go to a hotel because sometimes the outlet configurations are wonky and there's not enough outlets for the amount of people in your room. Granted, there are only two of us, but I like to be able to reach my phone from my bed. So, yeah, I'm sure most of us can relate to that. Um, but a extension cord makes it so that you can charge your phone in bed. There are two more things that were in the accessory compartment, and there are a few that I'm going to add. But one of them is this Mickey Mouse clip. It clips like this. This is really meant for strollers, but we're gonna clip it to our bag. I don't know who's gonna put it on their bag, me or my mom. But it's gonna hold our popcorn bucket because we saw on Facebook that there is a new popcorn bucket. I think it's at Hollywood Studios, but it is a Sully popcorn bucket and my mom loves Monsters, Inc. Who doesn't? But I think we're gonna end up getting that popcorn bucket. So this will make it so we don't have to carry it. The last thing that I had in my accessory pocket is this thing. I will try to link this but it is a roller thing and it's made for your foot and for those of you that maybe didn't watch my channel back in June I had a pretty significant foot injury in October of 2017 and I wasn't accurately diagnosed until like January or February of 2018 so for most of 2018 I was dealing with a foot thing and my foot still acts up at times it acted up a little bit when we were there in October and the cold has been messing with it which is you know whatever but this you are you step on it like this and then you you know roll your foot back and forth and it helps to work out any kinks so it also has a hand strap so you can like do someone's back or my mom was doing it to her arm like this so it'll just be nice for you know Disney's hard on your body so this will come in handy I'll try to link this in the description down below. While we're on the topic of my foot, let's talk about my shoes. So it's really important for my foot to be in good supportive sneakers, especially when we're walking 15 miles a day. So I went and got new shoes. I have worn them a little bit to break them in, but I got them at a store called Charm City Run if you're in the Baltimore area. And they are, I believe they're Brooks, and they are rather expensive but they have good support and the guy like watched me walk and told me what kind of shoes to buy I don't know but in October I had purchased some run Disney sneakers from DSW and was saving them for my trip in October and it turns out they were slightly too small I had worn them out to run errands but they felt good and then I wore them to Disney and barely made it back to the hotel because they were too small combined with the fact that they probably aren't the best sneakers for you they're more fashionable than they are functional and the fact that I had a foot injury just not a good combination so good sneakers are a must I'm only gonna bring these I don't think we're really gonna end up swimming and I was talking to my mom about this last night I'm gonna bring a bathing suit and then if I do go swimming I'll just walk barefoot to the pool who cares but I'm trying to minimize my packing so I'm not gonna pack full because I really doubt that we'll use the pool. If anything, maybe we'll use the hot tub. The next thing that's going to go up in the accessory pocket is sunscreen. 
as you can see, I am quite pale and burn very easily. So sunscreen is a must no matter what time of year it is. When we are packing sunscreen, we do put it in a plastic bag just in case the something happens and it goes off. It doesn't ruin all your clothes. So whether you have a spe special thing for it or you just use a grocery bag, just cover it up. I'm also going to throw these babies in the accessory compartment. These are my Winnie the Pooh ears. They were originally supposed to be Belle ears with yellow for her yellow dress and red for the rose. But I think they look more like Pooh and I love Pooh so it's all good. This main pocket down here is where I keep all of my clothes and you know random things that are bigger and aren't going to fit in the accessory area. So these mini ears are actually going to go in the accessory compartment. This suitcase is great because it has pockets here. I know they're for shoes, but I'm only bringing one pair of shoes. So I'm using them for socks and underwear. But that'll make sure that nothing gets lost or hard to find after you're living out of a suitcase for a week. So I'm going to show you everything that is in here, and then we'll talk about the things that I have not packed yet. Now I'm going to show you the clothes that I'm bringing. So I'm bringing a pair of capri leggings and a pair of, actually these are capri leggings too, but these are a little thicker, so they're a little warmer. These are super soft. These are actually from Walmart. My mom found them, and they are super, super soft, and it feels like you're not wearing pants, which is a good way to live. And I'm bringing a pair of jeans, so it is going to be cold, so I'll probably wear the thicker pair and the jeans more than I'll wear the thinner pair. For my shirts, if you've watched my channel at all, then you know that I make all my own Disney shirts using my Cricut. And so I'm bringing, I made one new shirt and then I told myself that I needed to stop and wear what I already have. So for tomorrow or our flight in our Hollywood Studios day. I am bringing this Pixar love shirt. I love this one. I love Pixar, so, you know, good for Toy Story Land, which we did check out in October, but I'm excited to do it again. On Tuesday, we're going to Magic Kingdom. If you didn't watch the itinerary video that I did, I will link that up in the cards, but I did go through like what we're gonna do each day. So Tuesday, we are going to Magic Kingdom. And I made this shirt for a friend back in December for Christmas. And while I was making it, I fell in love with it and said I need that shirt. So I ended up making one for myself last night when I was supposed to be packing. But it says, the mountains are calling, thunder, space, and splash. I just thought this one was so cute. On Wednesday, we are going to Epcot, so that is my home park super excited so I had to have a shirt that kind of represents my ride because I'm passionate about spaceship birth what can I say so experimental prototype community of tomorrow it's got spaceship birth up here and I love this shirt it's actually a very comfortable material it's from Target and then I put the design on myself I've been looking for this shirt in other colors because the material of it is, I don't, I don't know what it is, but it's different. And I can't find it in any other color than gray. On Thursday, we're going back to Magic Kingdom. So I'm going to wear one of my favorite shirts. I actually wear this one at home a lot. Because this is one of my favorite Walt Disney quotes. It says, here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. So, really like that one. And that'll be Thursday's shirt. And then on Friday, I'm going to wear my Hakuna Matata shirt. Let's see. Ugh. So, I like this one. I think I'm going to bring one of my hair bows to go with it. Let me show you. I did not plan this when I made this shirt, but this bow that I have that has the little baby Simba on it. Let's see. He's in there, I promise. Um, did not plan it, but this matches perfectly, so I'm going to bring this bow, too. And then I wear it kind of like this, and then put the bow here. Or sometimes I do it with a ponytail, but not usually. 
I like to wear my hair down when I'm at Disney because we take a lot of pictures. We have annual passes, so we have Memory Maker included in those, and I always recommend to my clients that they get Memory Maker because we just love the pictures and all the magic shots, but you can find out more information about that. I'll leave a link up here to my video about that. Then I'm bringing just a regular cami, like, to go underneath of something if it's going to be extra cold one day. It's just plain black with spaghetti straps. And then I got this at Target the other night. I was not supposed to be buying anything. I was hanging out with my friend, and she's like, do you want to go to Target? And I said, I don't really need anything. And she said, I don't really need anything. So we went to Target, obviously. And Target told me that I need this sweatshirt. It is so cute. I'm very excited to wear this. But it's a pretty light sweatshirt, so I think it'll be perfect for, like, the afternoon, evening when it starts to get chilly. And the last clothing item that I'm bringing, I've never been to Disneyland, but I got my hands on a Disneyland spirit jersey. So, I'm going to bring it. I love spirit jerseys. I bought a Christmas one from Walt Disney World in October, and from the day I bought it, I pretty much wore it like 400 times. So, they're super comfortable. And I wear this one too, but the Christmas one, I just, I just love it. I was tempted to bring it, but my mom said that she would burn it if I brought it, so. And I'm a little scared to test that one out. She actually said I'm not allowed to wear it anymore until next Christmas, which is a little extreme, but I'll just wear it when she's not home. So the last thing that was already in the bag when I showed it to you is this giant box of Honey Nut Cheerios. And for those of you that don't know, I, in July, found out I have a gluten allergy. So, I in October was not that impressed with the breakfast options that we had at Polynesian for gluten-free. Um, there are three different kinds of gluten-free waffle and pancake mixes, and the one they have at Polly is not the good one. I know there's a specific one, I don't know which one it is or where they have it, but I know there are different ones, and the Polynesian one is just not good. So I struggled with breakfast every morning. I don't eat eggs. I'm very picky. Eggs are just something I've never liked since I was little. So I can actually have Cheerios. Um, all Cheerios are gluten-free. And then I can also have Lucky Charms and like the Rice Checks. But I'm bringing Cheerios. And then I'll just grab some milk from the quick service restaurant and be good to go. But we did make breakfast reservations at Olivia's Cafe for Tuesday and Wednesday morning and we might add them Thursday, Friday if we really like it because we've heard really good things about that restaurant for gluten-free. So going along with what I can and can't eat, um, I'm bringing go-go squeezes for a quick and easy snack in the parks. The restaurants all have things that gluten-free people can have, but not all of the snack stands do. And if you just want a quick snack, sometimes it's easier to just bring your own. So we're bringing a couple go-go squeezes. We are also bringing some almonds. These are gluten-free chocolate chip cookies that I made for Christmas in a Star Wars bag, obviously. Actually, if you're gluten-free, I'm going to link that down below because that recipe is A+. Plus. So good. Um, my mom is bringing oatmeal. I can't have this oatmeal, but she's going to have that for breakfast when we don't go to Olivia's. I am bringing a bag of Light Saver Mints. I get plain sick, motion sick. I get motion sick. I can't ride Star Tours or anything like that. Um, simulator rides, planes, and cars all make me feel very sick. I never actually get sick, but the mints help with the nausea. We are also bringing a bag of decaf coffee. I don't drink caffeine. It makes me sick, so yeah, I know I'm a lot of fun, aren't I? Um, so I love the taste of coffee though, so I do drink decaf coffee on a very regular basis. And my mom also drinks decaf coffee af in the afternoon and evening. So we're staying at Old Key West in a deluxe studio, so we should have a coffee pot to make our own coffee. And we don't really like the coffee that is in the resorts. I don't mind it. It's not the best coffee, but my mom just does not like it. The last thing we're bringing food-wise is emergency. This is like an immune system booster. So it looks like my mom packed enough for each of us to have one every day. 
just so that we hopefully don't get sick while we're there because that is a thing that happens people get sick because there's so many germs or from the plane you know and that's no way to spend your Disney vacation I fibbed we have one more food item we're bringing little peanut butters and I actually have to run to the store because we forgot to get a loaf of gluten-free bread so I'm gonna get a loaf of gluten-free bread so that we can carry a peanut butter sandwich just in case you know you can never have too many options now the last thing that I'm going to show you is my park bag which is also coming on the plane with me so it does have something that I'm not bringing to the parks but for the most part this is what's going to be in my park bag every single day so I actually made this bag last night and I'm in love I was looking for a new park bag for the past like six months and I never found one that I liked so I found this plain backpack at BJ's of all places which is a wholesale club for those of you that don't know and I was there with my aunt and uncle and we were shopping for groceries and I found this and I said I need that and then I wanted to Disney it up so I made these little Mickeys on my Cricut and spent all of yesterday putting them on so this was a labor of love but it was worth it so in this little front pocket I'm going to keep my pins um, for those of you that don't know I'm a pretty big pin trader I have way too many pins, but I somehow keep ending up with more. It's fine. Everyone has a hobby. This is mine. And I'm also leaving this in here. It says, the party don't start till I walk in, and it is Woody coming out of his box in Toy Story 2. And I just think it's funny, so I'm going to wear it to Hollywood Studios tomorrow. But I won't put it on in the airport because it's going to be a pain in security and all that. <sighs> Meh. And then inside the bag, mostly it's my camera equipment, which is why one of the reasons I needed to upgrade my bag. Um, I have big plans for my YouTube channel, so I need to take a lot of footage while I am down there this trip and next trip. So, and every trip after that really, but I have big plans for these next two trips specifically. Hooked to the top of the bag, I have my magic band that I'm going to probably wear the most. I love this. We booked a package that was a special deal last year. And this came with the package. But I leave it linked to the top, like the hangy part of the backpack. I always do that uh, no matter what backpack I bring. But that way I have it for the Magical Express and I don't forget it or, and check the rest of them because it wouldn't be a big deal but I like to have my magic band, I don't know. On the inside there is a small pocket and I am keeping Sharpies in there. We forgot Sharpies last time which was strange, we never forget Sharpies. So just in case we need something signed. And then I have my iPad in there, let's get it out. I have my iPad. I am taking a winter class right now. and. I was able to work ahead for the rest of the semester, so the class ends the 22nd, and all I've left to do is the final, which won't come out until like after I get back, but there are two discussions that are due while I'm gone, and no one has posted them so that I can make my two comments on other people's, which is annoying. So I'm going to have to do that while we're there, unfortunately. So I figured if I bring my iPad, I don't have to bring my computer, and then I can watch movies on the plane on it instead of on my phone. So. It all works out. And then I'm also bringing my tripod for my GoPro. So it kind of hooks on there. I was going to bring some other GoPro accessories, but I think I'm just going to bring this one. Don't think I'll really need the others. And then I also have a smaller tripod for the camera that I'm currently using. So I, I don't know. Just there's another. It's like a gorilla pod. And then I'm bringing that camera, and I'm bringing my little GoPro guy. So I'm excited to try this out. I got it on a really good deal a few months ago. So I have not really gotten to play with it yet, so be ready for some GoPro footage. I'm going to do some ride stuff with it and, you know, whatever. And then, let's see, this is Mary Poppins bag, I'm telling you. Then I have my charger. 
the camera charger for this camera, the battery charger is currently charging a different battery so that it's fully charged and ready to go for Hollywood Studios. So I'm not going to show you that because it needs to charge. And then I have some lens wipes in here and a small mount, but other than that, that's really it. And then I'm going to, I haven't gone through my pins yet, but I'm going to be bringing trading pins. I have to decide which ones I'm getting rid of first. So, wish me luck. <laughs> um... I almost forgot to mention that these sunglasses are going in my park backpack so that I have these. Very important. Super cool. Tiny Mickeys. What could be better? So I'm going to go through my pins. I'm going to put all this stuff back in my suitcase. And I really feel like I'm forgetting something. Yee. I usually bring a lot more. I usually bring like multiple pairs of shoes. Maybe I'll bring a cute shirt. A non-Disney shirt not that those shirts aren't cute but like a going out shirt because I'm planning on going to Disney Springs at night parks are only open till 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock Epcot's open till 9 the rest of the parks are open till 8 so so I think that's about it I think I will add my North Face jacket I'll probably wear that to the airport just because it's literally snowing outside right now we haven't gotten snow since November randomly got snowed in November and now it's snowing and we're trying to leave on a plane tomorrow morning and I don't know when this is supposed to stop but I'm gonna have some words from Mother Nature if this delays us tomorrow. I don't think it will. It should be fine but anyway that is all I am packing other than the trading pins and wearing my North Face. So if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be vlogging this trip so you definitely don't want to miss that. We're doing some really fun stuff, if I do say so myself. And I will talk to you guys in my next video, which will probably be a vacation vlog. Make sure, if you haven't already, checked out my new blog. I'll leave that linked down below. I didn't really mention it here, but I did start a blog, and I post over there a little more than I post here, because to post here, I have to put on makeup and do my hair and blah blah blah, but I can do the blog whenever wherever I am so it's a little more low maintenance than YouTube so I will talk to you guys later I'm gonna put all this in that suitcase and get ready to go Yay! I'm so excited okay I'll talk to you guys later bye